pleasure I present my heart son, Bobby Schaefer, and his wife, Jesse Schaefer. so today in this particular company that Bobby and Jesse have chosen as witnesses to their vows. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? Thank you. Take the bride's hand. Take the bride's flowers. <laughs> and so, dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the presence of God and this company to join this woman and this man in marriage. Today's celebration is an outward sign of a sacred and inward commitment, which religious societies may concentrate and states may legalize, but which neither can create nor annul. Such union can only be created by loving purpose, be maintained by abiding will, and be renewed by human feelings and intentions. We'll light the candle together and then do the moms. <coughs> Like the center one first. Okay. 
which represents the union of families. What once was Jesse's family and Bob's family now become Jesse and Bob's family. To celebrate that, they've each lit in the center candle and will now give the unity candles to their respective mother-in-laws. And so we see created before us one family. Words may divide us, angers may make us silly, but there is one family united in the eyes of God. In this spirit, this man and the wo woman stand before us. If anyone can show just cause why these two should not be joined together, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Do you, Bobby, take this woman whom you hold by the hand to be your wife, the companion of your life, the partner of your joys and sorrows from this time forth? I do. Do you, Jesse, take this man whom you hold by the hand to be your husband, the companion of your life, the partner of your joys and sorrows from this day forth? I do. <clears throat> Sherry is going to honor us with a reading. Love suffers long, and it is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not see its own, and is not provoked. Think no evil, does not rejoice in equity, but rejoices in truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things. Love never fails. And now abides faith, hope, love, these three. But the greatest of these is love. Hear now the word of God. And know that the great guidance from Corinthians 13, 4 through 7 shall temper your lives. May I have the wings, please? Let Jeremy help you. These rings are a symbol of unending union, as endless as eternity. May they ever remind you of your sacred union, one to the other, from this day forward. Divine wisdom, infinite love, bless these rings and their wearers, and honor the two that have given them, that they shall be united in perfect peace and happiness, that their household shall be one of harmony and love. Amen. Jesse. become my husband. I will strive to give you the best of myself while accepting you the way you are. I promise to respect you as a whole person with your own interests, desires, and needs, and to realize that those are sometimes different but no less important than my own. Together we will create a home, becoming a part of one another. I vow to help create a life that we can cherish, inspiring your love for me and mine for you. I vow to be honest, caring, and truthful, to love you as you are and not as I want you to be, and to grow by your side as your love and best friend. 
I promise to keep myself open to you to let you into my innermost fears and feelings, secrets and dreams. I promise to grow along with you, to be willing to face change as we both change, keeping our relationship alive and exciting. And finally, I promise always to respect you and love you with kindness, unselfishness, and trust. I will work by your side to create a wonderful life together. I take you, Bobby, to be my lawful husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and health, for as long as we all shall live. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, with all that I have to give and all that I am, and the only way I know how completely and forever I love you. In so much as those gathered here have witnessed the vows of Bobby and Jesse, heard their declarations of love and support, and affirmed their intentions by the authority vested in me by the County of Chautauqua, State of New York, I now pronounce your husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Yeah. 